Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm doing a Diwali makeup look. I just looked up how to pronounce it. I think I'm saying it right. Every time I've looked up Diwali or I've seen other amazing YouTubers that celebrate this occasion wear their looks, they're always really bright and colorful or dramatic and bold. So I wanted to do something that I felt was bold but still in the typical Chloe style, which I feel like is easy to do. So I kind of cut corners so it wouldn't take too long, you know. I've got a monochromatic look. It's actually a very simple eye look, but with the bold lashes, it brings it up a notch and the wing. And then, of course, a really bright, unique shade on the lips. Okay, to avoid this intro just getting way too long, um, I'm going to put all the information below. Check out a bunch of my favorite Indian bloggers below so you can check out their looks and their channels as well. And I hope you guys enjoy this look. Let me know if I completely missed the mark on Diwali style makeup or what you would want to wear to Diwali, but I thought this would look really pretty with a lot of the outfits, personally. I hope you guys enjoy and keep watching. I'm just putting my hair back, I'm getting my fringe out of the way. It's gonna look like trash just for this start part. Then I'll put Cover FX concealer on. Oh. Then a bit of primer on the eyes, Pro Filter from Fenty, because we want it to stay the whole time. It goes like a week, right? You want it to stay for a week. Jokes. <laughs> you want it to stay all day. With Maybelline brow pencil, I'm going to do my brows now, just filling in little gaps. Just a bit of clear brow gel to hold them in place. I'm all about brow gel now. Not that I wasn't before, but I need one that holds really well because now my bangs or my fringe can mess up my brows. With this little Persona Color Theory Pink palette, I'm gonna mix these two shades. I'm just dusting that over the whole eyelid. This is not a complicated look, so. And I picked this really big brush. It's actually, I think it's like a highlighter brush. Lux Powder Fusion from Zoeva. But it's really big, so it just swipes all over the eye and through the socket. And then Fenty Beauty just released a new diamond bomb and this one's called Rose Rave. So it's a little bit pink and it's so pretty. It'll give that wet look. So get some of that on your fingers. Can you see this texture? Smooshy. Blend it in. So easy, right? Okay, now we're going to do a wing. Everyone loves a wing. And this is the Tattooed Liner Trooper Black. I feel like that was the quickest I've ever done a wing in my life. Other side. Okay, mascara, Huda Beauty. Okay, for mascara, let's do Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. I'm gonna put falsies on so it doesn't really matter which one you use. Got these badass lashes from Artemis. I just trimmed off the last few um, lashes because they're pretty long. Okay, Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Spray as a primer before foundation. Thought I'd use my Guerlain Natural Glow 16 hour wear foundation. It's just a really nice light one. You could of course go full coverage if you want. Eh. It's kind of clogged. My one size powder. This is a really great powder. I've been using it all week since I got it. And it is really nice and blurring. I just like to apply it um, really lightly though. And I'm loving how it, how it works with my skin. So I just take a small amount. Probably can't even see that. I'm gonna take this pink rosy blush from Dior Backstage in Rosy Glow just to keep everything monochromatic and pink. I find these light pinks really brightening. Now I'm gonna do a really pretty like fuchsia dark pink purpley eh, color lip and this is a Stila color in Lume Shimmer and then this one is Port Grimaud Lip Liner from NARS. Of 
Cool. And then the lipstick. Hot in here, just took off my jumper. I'm gonna take some bronzer. This is the Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzer. Last step now that I've got my hair out is to add a little bit of highlighter. This one is Opal pressed highlighter from Becca. Ooh. So that's the look. I love it. Obviously, it doesn't just suit this occasion, but it could suit a bunch of different occasions. But I really like for something special to actually do different shades of the same color. So this time we've chosen the fuchsia and I've got that subtle fuchsia on my eyes and then the bright fuchsia on the lip and it's of course a long wearing lip color so it should last the entire occasion and even under a mask it shouldn't transfer this is a transfer proof color um, and I think it would go with a lot of different outfits I personally think pink is really universal I feel like it looks good on a lot of people this look really doesn't take that long um, it's very easy to adapt you could easily swap this out for like more nudes and still do the sparkly nude eye and then a matching or darker nude lip um, I think that would look really cool. I just wanted to do something fun with some color. I really hope you like this look and I hope that it goes with your outfit. I can probably, I think it's a week long Diwali. So if you want me to do another look, let me know. Put your requests below. I probably have some time to film and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.